the place of x means when as the value of x is going towards a the value of function will go to we don't have a cube minus uh, a power phi minus b power phi so whenever you apply a limit you should get a finite value or unique value so limit x tends to minus 1 x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1 by x minus 1 in the place of x you put minus 1 you'll get the answer how to read this limit x tends to 2 x cube plus 1 by x New factor numerator becomes x minus 2 into 3x plus 5 denominator is a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b Welcome to the session dear students. Today we will go ahead with one of the important chapters that is limits and derivatives. So now first notation. Limit x tends to a f of x. Limit x tends to a f of x means in the place of x means when as the value of x is going towards a the value of function will go to a specific unique value that we need to find. So first you should know how to read this. This is read as limit x tends to a f of x. Means in the place of x we can substitute a that will become f of a provided provided your f of a value provided f of a should not be indeterminate. f of a should be defined should not be indeterminate. If it is indeterminate, if it is an indeterminate form, then you have to simplify. For example, for example, if I take say limit x tends to 2 x cube plus 1 divided by x means in the place of x put 2. So it will become 2 cube plus 1 by 2, 8 plus 1, 9 by 2. We will get an unique value. Whenever you apply limit, finally you should get limit value. How to read this? Limit x tends to 2 x cube plus 1 by x. What is meant by x tends to 2? In the place of x, put 2. If I do that, 2 cube plus 1 divided by 2 gives you 9 by 2. Means I am getting a unique value. So therefore, limit exists. So provided f of a should not be indeterminate. If, if f of a is indeterminate, if f of a is mathematical indeterminate, Article indeterminate, then simplify and apply limit. Then what you should do? Then you should simplify and apply limit. First you simplify, then you apply what limit? For example, we'll take a case like this. So I'll take limit x tends to one x square minus one by x minus one limit x tends to 1 x square minus 1 by x minus 1. What is meant by x tends to 1? In the place of x put 1. If you do that you will get 1 square minus 1 by 1 minus 1. So that will become 0 by 0. So dear student 0 by 0 is not defined. 0 by 0 is an indeterminate form. Nobody knows the value of 0 by 0. So we should not get this form. So therefore what you should do before we apply limit we should simplify. Limit x tends to 1 x square minus 1 by x minus 1. Don't apply limit. First let us simplify. Numerator, can I write 1 as 1 square? So that now it is in the form a square minus b square. What is a square minus b square? a plus b into a minus b. So I can write this as x plus 1 into x minus 1 divided by what? x minus 1. So now I can cancel x minus 1, x minus 1. Now in the place of x put 1, so it will become 1 plus 1 that is 2. So now you got the value. You got a unique value. So here it is factorizable, we factorized. Otherwise, we have to use theorems. So we have to use what theorem? So sandwich theorem, which we need to derive it. So a brief introduction I gave you. So that is limit x tends to a f of x means mathematically in the place of x put a. f of a. How to read this? Limit x tends to a f of x. What does it mean? In the place of x put a. So it will become f of a provided if f of a should not be indeterminate. Means your f of a, suppose if it is indeterminate, indeterminate means suppose if it is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity or infinity minus infinity or 0 power 0. If you get any one of these forms, then we say indeterminate. So you should not, never get indeterminate. So then if you are getting indeterminate, simplify and then you apply limit. 
So an example I showed you and we have theorems. So in coming classes, I'll explain sandwich theorem and two more theorems in your syllabus we'll discuss. So now what is the real mathematical meaning means when X is going towards A, the function functional value will give a unique value that we need to find. So now coming to the point. So now we'll start with simple problems of X is 13.1. Evaluate the following limits from 1 to 7. Limit x tends to 3, x plus 3. They want you to find limit x tends to 3, x plus 3. What does it mean? In the place of limit, x tends to 3, x plus 3. Means in the place of x, put 3. So limit x tends to 3 means in the place of x, put 3. So it will become 3 plus 3. What is 3 plus 3? 6. You got a finite value, you can stop it. Then Limit x tends to pi x minus 22 by 7 means in the place of x put pi. So it will become pi minus 22 by 7. All of you know pi is also what 22 by 7. So 22 by 7 minus 22 by 7 is what 0. You can get answer as 0. It is a finite form. Then limit x r tends to 1 pi r square. They give limit r tends to 1 pi r square. How to read this? Limit r tends to 1 pi r square. So now simple in the place of r we will put 1. So it will become pi into 1 square. Pi into 1 square is what? 1 pi or pi. So we got the answer is pi into 1 that is pi. So whenever you apply limit you should get a finite value or unique value. Now limit r tends x tends to 4. 4x plus 3 divided by x minus 2 limit limit x tends to 4 limit x is tending to what 4 4 x plus 3 by x minus 2 means x tends to 4 means in the place of x we'll put 4 in the place of x if you put 4 it will become 4 into 4 plus 3 divided by 4 minus 2 wherever x is there i'm putting 4 because x is tending to 4 so in the place of x put 4 so 4 4 is 16, 16 plus 3 19 divided by 2, this is the value. Then we have limit x tends to 1, limit x tends to minus 1, x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1. So they give limit x is tending to what? Minus 1. Limit x goes to minus 1, x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Now x tends to minus 1 means in the place of x put minus 1. So minus 1 power 10 plus minus 1 power 5 plus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 power 10 minus 1 power even number makes it plus 1 minus 1 power odd number makes it minus 1 again we have plus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and 1 minus 1 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so finally we will get minus 1 by 2 so limit x tends to minus 1 x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1 by x minus 1 in the place of x you put minus 1 you will get that answer further limit this is x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 x plus 1 power 5 minus 1 divided by x so from here when you observe it is not in standard form suppose if you put in the place of x if i put 0 0 plus 1 power 1 power 5 minus 1 by 0 so 1 1 power 5 minus 1 by 0 so 0 by 0 Suppose in the place of x, if you put 0, I am getting what? 0 by 0. So therefore, it is not in standard form. So the problem 6 is not in standard form. So in order to do these kind of problems, because when I solve this, when I solve this problem, so <coughs> case 1, so simple. So now suppose, so now limit x tends to 0, x plus 1 power 5, minus 1 by x. Suppose in the place of x if you put 0, 0 plus 1 power 5 minus 1 by 0. That will become 
1 minus 1 by 0 that will become 0 by 0 you know 0 by 0 is mathematical indeterminate form so now we got mathematical indeterminate form so this is not possible so whenever you apply a limit you should not get 0 by 0 that's why whenever they give problems of this kind you need to simplify so now limit x tends to 0 and they gave x plus 1 power 5 minus 1 divided by x so dear students if you want to solve these kind of problems what we need to do we have to apply theorem so it should be thorough with the sandwich theorem the sandwich theorem is limit x tends to a x power n minus a power n by x minus a you can write it as n into a power n minus 1 so we have a theorem we call this a sandwich theorem so here in the place of x if you suppose apply a it will become 0 by 0 so you should never get 0 by 0 because 0 by 0 is mathematical indeterminate so what we need to do if the problem is in the form x tends to a x power n minus a power n by x minus a answer is n into a power n minus 1 so i will convert this problem like this in denominator i can add and subtract 1 so here also tends to is like is equals to add 1 on both sides x plus 1 tends to 0 plus 1 and x plus 1 power 5 minus 1 so i can write 1 as 1 power 5 you know 1 power anything is 1 because this is power 5 i'm writing it as power 5 now denominator x is there i'll add plus 1 i'll subtract 1 add and subtract 1 now it is in the form x power n minus a power n by x minus a so in the place of x you have x plus 1 in the place of a you have so now limit x plus 1 tends to 0 plus 1 is 1 x plus 1 power 5 minus 1 power 5 by x plus 1 minus 1. See, it is in the form x power n minus a power n by x minus a. In the place of x, you have x plus 1. So, it resembles this format. So, answer is n into a power n minus 1. Here, n is 5. 5 into 1 power 5 minus 1. So, it will become 5 into 1 power 4. 5 into anything, 5 into 1 is 5. So, answer is 5. Simple. So, you got to answer 5, but we use theorem. So, now in my next class, I will be deriving this and I will tell you how we can arrive at this. If power is 2, you can factorize. Power is 3 also, you can factorize. Power is more than 5. We do not have a cube minus uh, a power 5 minus b power 5 formula like that. So, we have sandwich theorem. We will derive that geometrically. We have two theorems. Remember, theta tends to 0. Sin theta by theta is equal to 1 is sandwich theorem. And this is theorem 1. So, this is theorem, using binomial theorem, we will derive it. Limit extends to a, x power n minus a power n by x minus a is n into a power n minus 1, we will derive it. And this is a normal theorem, theorem 2. And other than this, we have sandwich theorem. Sandwich theorem is limit theta tends to 0 or sin theta by theta is 1. That also we need to prove. So, today we applied this theorem. So, in the place of x, we have x plus 1. And in the place of a, we have, in the place of a, we have 1. So, apply it n into a power n minus 1. Now, limit x tends to 2, 3x square minus x minus 10 by x square minus 4. Suppose, if we apply x as 2, it will become 0 by 0 again. So, first, let us trial. Limit x tends to 2, they give. Limit x tends to 2, they give. 3x square minus x minus 10 divided by x square minus 4. Now, in the place of x, put 2. So, it will become 3 into 2 square minus 2 minus 10 divided by 2 square minus 4. So, that is 2 square is 4, 4 3 is 12, 12 minus 4, it will become 0 by 0. So, whenever you apply limit, you should never get 0 by 0. So, this is not possible. No function should give 0 by 0. So, that's why we need to simplify. Let us factorize this. So, let us factorize the numerator and denominator, then apply limit. Limit x tends to 2, numerator is 3x square minus x minus 10 a quadratic equation divided by x square minus can i write 4 as 2 square now we'll factorize so you know 3 into minus 10 is minus 30 what are the factors for minus 30 that will give you minus 1 you know 10 3 is a 30 6 5 is a 30 so i'll take minus 6 into 5 if i add minus 6 plus 5 i'll get minus 1 if i multiply i'll get minus 30 so let us consider this 3x square minus x minus 10 and we'll do factorization so i can write it as 3x square minus 6x plus 5x plus minus 10 further you can take 3x common so it will become x minus 2 
here you take phi common it will become x minus 2 now you take x minus 2 common x minus 2 if i take common so it will become 3x plus 5 so now numerator you can write it as x minus 2 into so now i'll go to the problem limit x tends to 2 numerator in spite of 3x square minus x minus 10 that can be written as x minus 2 into 3x plus y x minus 2 into what 3x plus y denominator it is in the form a square minus b square a square minus b square can be written as a minus b into a plus b so i can write it as x minus 2 into x plus 2 now i can cancel x minus 2 x minus 2 now in the place of x put 2 so it will become 3 into 2 plus 5 divided by 2 plus 2 3 to the 6 x plus 5 is 11 11 by 4 so 11 by 4 is the value so directly if you apply limit you are getting 0 by 0 which is indeterminate you should never get this so this is a wrong method so you have to simplify to simplify i factorize the numerator then i factorize the denominator New, uh, factor numerator becomes x minus 2 into 3x plus 5 denominator is a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b denominator becomes x minus 2 into x plus 2 x minus 2 x minus 2 cancels now in the place of x put to 2 so it will become 3 into 2 plus 5 3 to the 6 plus 5 11 2 plus 2 4 11 by 4 is the answer i hope all of you understood this so now I gave a brief introduction on mathematical approach of limits and we have done problems. Please sit and recollect this. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.